Okay, so I'm going to walk you through how to build a nine patch um, asset for an Android application. Essentially, what a nine patch is, is it's a scalable um, UI element or any sort of asset you want. So it could be, um, in this case, I'm going to do basically this popover information window for Android. It could easily be a button. It could be anything you want it to be. Um, and essentially, what you're going to do is you're going to create um, a content area within your asset where a viewport can sort of expand that outwards and make it um, you know, still scale pretty well and not really get too pixelated on you. Um, so what I have here is I have this sort of popover information window in Sketch. I'm going to export this to my desktop. Save it as popover sample, just um, PNG file with a transparent background. I'm go to the desktop and open that up. So here's the file I just saved. Going into the command line, I'm going to use the Android SDK to open up the Draw 9 Patch tool. So this, is uh, this is provided by default with the Android SDK. Um, there's different tools you can use for this. Um, opening up that image there. Um, another good example of one that you might be able to use is... Um, yeah, the simple 9 patch generator, which is just off of uh, Roman Merrick's GitHub page. It has a lot of really great things for generating icons, 9 patches, um, so really good sources there. Um, but for the intents and purposes of this tutorial, it's going to use the default 9 patch generator provided by Android. So I'm going to blow this up all the way here. Um, zoom out a little bit so we can see. The left hand side of this tool, um, we're going to use to actually specify the dimensions um, that are going to stretch the dimensions of our content area. The right hand side is basically going to provide us with a preview of what this asset is going to look like in 9 patch form as we expand it in different ways. So right now you can see it's sort of um, it's distorting the bottom here, it's distorting the sides a little bit. We're going to try to prevent that. The way you do that is you draw a one pixel black line border on the left, right, um, top and bottom sides of your asset. And the way that works is that the content area, so basically for us the content area is going to be everything inside this box here where our view is going to fit in Android. Um, it's going to be specified by drawing black lines on the right hand side here and um, across the bottom here. Um, the dimensions that we're actually going to have stretch in the 9 patch itself are going to be on the left hand side and the top here. Um, so the way that works is that, you can see up top here, pulling down control allows you to draw that one pixel border, pulling down shift allows you to erase it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify um, basically the middle of this left hand side is being, um, being expandable. I'm going to hold down control and just specify that little boy right there. Yep, that's all you really need. Um, and actually, I'm going to turn on the patch view as we're making this. Uh, the topmost section of the view, let me turn that off just for a second. I'm going to basically allow this area here to be expandable, and I'm going to stop it right before we get to the center point here. I'm going to allow this area here to be expandable, and I'm going to stop it before we get to the corner. And what that's going to do is it's going to stretch the interior of our asset while also preserving um, the aspect ratio of the center point here and those two corners. I'm going to drag this out to about here, and we can clean this up in a little bit. I'm going to specify that about here, drag this over to the corner. You can already see we're getting a, a little bit better here in the center. Things are looking a little bit better. Oh, this on the side here. So you see we're, we're getting there. I'm going to specify the content area now. Um, the content area, like I said, is going to be, we're going to leave some padding up top and some padding at the bottom. I'm going to try to line this up the left hand side here. Um, those are pretty close. I'm just going to even those up a little bit. Going down shift and racing the bottom pixel here. Okay, that's lined up. Um, I'm going to take one off the top here. And that's lined up as well. I can actually bring this in just a little bit. It's a bit closer to the center point there. And then bring this one in just a bit as well. It's pretty close. 
Um, and now I'm going to specify the content area on the bottom here, which will basically be the entire width here, just about. And then I'm going to go ahead and line that up at the top. So that's line it's a little bit off the side here. So what you can see on the right hand side here, um, the corners and the center point here are now all retaining their correct aspect ratio and they're not being pixelated or distorted. Um, so I can see the patches themselves using this control here. And I can also see the content area, which is now our entire uh, interior of our information box with um, a generous amount of padding on all the sides. Um, in order to make sure we actually get this right, what I can do is I can patch scale which will distort the ones on the side here. And as you can see in all of these, um, the corners maintain their correct aspect ratio without pixelation, as does the center point. Um, so what I can do now is I can save this file as a nine patch right to the desktop. Um, what that should do is it should put the point nine there, which is what Android needs to recognize this as a nine patch. So opening up Android Studio, What you can do is you can drag that same nine patch asset into your drawables folder and link to it um, in one of your XML layout views. And it should show up without those black borders correctly in the preview. And if you were to put this in the emulator, it would show up there as well. Okay, hope that's helpful.